What a complicated business it is once an optician has tested your eyes and ordered the glasses that your tired peepers may need. The optician or the oculist can check your vision with a variety of lenses after examining the interior of your eye. But it's skilled craftsmen who produce the spectacles he prescribes, starting with a straightforward good quality glass. That's what they call a blank, and they snap it into strips as you snap a bar of chocolate. You rough shape the glass that will be pressed and ground into precision lenses. Each lens must be a standard weight and size and geometric shape. Like those tin soldiers, spectacle lenses are largely hand-shaped. Half of Britain's population wear glasses, and possibly one out of every other three should do so too. What is staggering is the amount of individual skill there is that goes into the production of such conveyor belt commodities, where even such things as grinding and polishing have to differ from spectacle to spectacle. Nature arranged that the human eye could see into the distance. Modern life decrees we should spend a lot of time reading or studying things at elbow distance. And that's where the human eye tends to let us down. We need utterly different lenses for close and distant vision. And that's where the real precision skill of the spectacle-making industry comes in. Watch them produce bifocal lenses. Who'd have thought there was so much handwork in the manufacture of a pair of specs? The lens, which was ground with a fine powder and a special fluid, has to be polished and washed before it can be checked and finally tested. Here's one basic industry where automation seems a long way off. Yet you can get the precise spectacles you need, tailor-made, in a matter of hours, even if you plump for handmade colourful frames, which a fret worker can cut. Of course, you can have your frames barreled or mass-produced, but even then the hinges are hand-assembled. This is, surprisingly, the one big industry that brings a bit of personal craftsmanship into almost every household in the country. Assembling frames by hand, millions and millions. It's hard to believe in this age of standardization. Testing, testing too, and testing is crucial. Glasses just have to be faultless, or the whole purpose of having them is turned to nonsense. We could have tailor-made dustbins and teacups and motor cars at not much extra cost if we insisted on the individuality that calls for someone to slip the frames into hot sand to create the elasticity that allows the lenses to slot into place. The result of all this skill? A satisfied customer. Somebody who at last can see what's going on around her, apart from the fact that glasses today can be decorative or dignified to say the least. But there are some things you can't see with the best spectacles in